All right, rose bush popping. I hope those are gonna be uh, rose hips. I think so. Fuck a mosquito. Bye. Uh, slug them tearing up my basil. But I'm learning what to text stuff. Birds just get in here and dig stuff around. Well, they did that in my uh, my tall raised garden bed. Slug ate the goddamn asparagus. Where's that little asparagus tip he told up? Right there. Told this guy darn asparagus up. So I got to figure out. I caught myself putting a little can of beer in these little things, but I found out later that they got to fall in and drown. So that's not going to work. I have to figure out another solution. It's room enough to dig it down in there because I got the little uh, bottles to the bowl, so it can be done. But asparagus is popping. Uh, yeah, they ate up my dead burn. Uh, I just keep cutting these off. Like when I get home today, I probably cut them off because they say you're not supposed to be growing it right now. It's going to be weird, but we're just going to keep cutting it off. We're going to leave it in there over winter. Going to do what you want to do. I was making juices and stuff out of this uh, deal and cilantro, but I think I'm going to let it go to seed. It's that purse lane back there popping off. Ants are in this thing chilling. I'm just gonna let it go to seed, collect the seed. That's my cumin back there popping off flowers. This is my black cumin. And I was like, maybe I'll try to, uh, when they do, look at that. I'll take a picture of it real quick. But yeah, when they do, when the seeds do harden, I think I'm going to try to plant some more and grow them again. Because, you know, they be talking about the benefits of black seed oil. I'm going to have to do a whole lot of picking. It's going to have to be a whole bunch of crushing. But it's a lot of them. See how many are in there? And ain't nothing bothering this. Like, ain't nothing bothering uh, the cilantro. Ain't nothing bothering the parsley. They just want the delicious basil. Just like I want the delicious basil. Okay, haters. I'm going to eventually get these up out of here. I might do that today or either wait till my off day. So I brought some basil way over here to try to get some started. Try to give it another chance to try to live a little bit. They said basil like the summertime too, so I didn't mind replanting. I'm going to put this thyme in another pot because maybe it think that's all the room it got to grow and then it can spread out. Now, put them in little plots and intersperse them. Yeah, intersperse them throughout all of that good stuff. It's the goji berries. I popped it out. It's roots all the way to the bottom, but it's not root bound. It's not locked up in roots and stuff. Uh, but yeah. This is chamomile. I guess these done popped up. They got all the leaves off of them. I don't know if I'm supposed to be taking these off now and drying them out and trying to make tea or whatever. Like I said, I'm just now learning. I'm wondering where do the, uh, like the little flowers, the little seeds I put in there. What is that? Oh, it's just a piece of the tree. Okay, all right. But yeah, this is the first one to pop up, the chamomile. And I think uh, fleabane, those little white plants that are in the garden or in the yard all the time, I think I read somewhere that that's what that's called, it's fleabane. And that you do the same thing with fleabane that you basically do with chamomile, take off the tops. I think some people even use the stems and stuff, make a tincture out of it. And I guess it's time for me to make some uh, greens. Yeah, darn me, with the um, Swiss chard. Get some greens going, that's the tarragon. I'm very interested to see how that would grow. It's growing. Every time I see somebody use the herb on TV, it's like this dark, like blue green looking type of herb. So I was like, okay. So I'm just definitely gonna let that grow and see what it do. It's already, Look like it's about to flower right now. Yeah, it's already up in there doing its thing. And that's the tarragon. So, you know, I'm just gonna let it grow, taking notes, knowing what I need to do. Uh, what is that down there? You a culprit? No, that's just some type of leaf. All right. All right, well, let me go and take my little booty to work. Yeah, here go another one. But I know I definitely need, uh, like, for my basil and stuff, I need to put that somewhere. Um, there's this whole piece of piece of grass up in here growing. You, you don't belong. 
blown here, sir. How you get up in there? Ah, come on out. There you go. All right, you're not curly like everybody else. You perpetrating a fraud. All right, but yeah, that little white sheet that you put over stuff so bugs and stuff can't get to it. So you don't have to use pesticides and try to use that as a, as a way to mitigate destruction of stuff. But look at this. Whew. That's going to be fun, picking them little pods off. I guess I just set my little bench I made right here. Plop down and be careful. And look at it. It's at least fun the first time. Hey, what you... Can I see him? You see that little fella down in there? Can you see him? I can see him. Maybe he went away. He's down there working on some things. Guess I'll let him do, do what he do. There you go, right there. Yeah, I thought I was losing my mind, didn't you? Hey, little mini book. What are you, you hanging out? Hanging out in the, uh, I was about to say cilantro. You hanging out in the cumin, huh? That's what you're doing? That's how you living? I don't know what you're doing, sir, but I guess. Hey, ooh. All right, let me zoom back out. Yeah, these little pods. It might not be that hard, because look, they pods. So, all right, and they all just got a little tiny flower on them. A little tiny flower. That's a lot of tiny flowers, but you need a lot of tiny flowers because you need a lot of cumins. This parsley is doing what it do, despite cilantro being big bullies. But it wasn't supposed to be here. It's supposed to be something else here. Well, no, they was all supposed to grow at the same time. That was the thing. They would have been tit for tat. Uh, or something close to it. Yeah, I guess that's something you need to be reminded of. Tall stuff on this side, short stuff on that side. But all right, let me go to work. Later.